everyone. It's, it's the, the James, James and Greg, Greg Show. Show. And this is our recap of week three of season 30 of The Amazing Race. Yes. So, Who will be eliminated? Nine teams remain. <laughs> Thanks, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> this time we go to Morocco. Ooh, Morocco. Shake your Moroccos. So uh, stick around and see what we Bye. think. Uh, this week they traveled from uh, Antwerp. Antwerp, and they got to go to Morocco. Morocco. Tangier, Morocco. Yes. Which they've been to before. They have. Yeah, so, you know, it's, it's I often like Tangier place. because it was where they did those Jason Bourne movies. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's which is what they pointed out in the thing. I so. know, and it, all those colors, like pastels, and like right. the and people are so friendly, too, I found. <laughs> Didn't you find that? I did. Okay, start us off, Greg. I'm ready. Uh, oh, the, so the biggest challenge was speaking the language. Speaking the and language. And getting the taxi to go to where they needed to be at the docks. There were two people uh, that were on teams that had like a leg up on this yeah. one. Uh, get it, leg up. <laughs> yeah, so Team Yell, she spoke Arabic. Because she went to school one semester in an Arabic country. Yes. Yeah, so which one? Which one? I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't think I took a note on which one it was. Oh, darn. But anyway, well, it's right here. See, it's right here. Isn't that amazing? She studied in Marrakesh. Oh, uh, yeah. Wow. I think I'm right. <laughs> you did research. That's amazing. I wrote it down. Oh, OK. <laughs> um, and, and then a Cody spoke. Cody, because he was in Iraq. Yeah, he was both in the Marines and in the Army. Yes, maybe one of them didn't want him. And and Jen, right? Jen's her name? I don't Jody? know why she's so mean to him. What the hell's her name, Jen? Jen? Uh, oh, Yale? No, oh, what's uh, Who? Cody and what's... Oh, the Spanish-speaking? Jessica, Jess. Oh, Jessica and Cody. And she yes. was like, what? You were in the armed forces? She knew he was in the armed forces. She just didn't know he like spoke, spoke a any little kind bit of Arabic. Arabic. Right. Any kind. I'm sure so they haven't done that the yet. The editors are doing a very good job of trying to make them likable. You know what? Maybe they are. And maybe <laughs> Big Brother made them so unlikable. Maybe. You never know. But Big Brother, they're pretty much on 24-7, so... Oh, I was totally off. He was in the Air Force and Marines. Air Force. <laughs> Marines. So, anyway. So, the people last to the pits of the very first task was Team Extreme. Because their extreme. taxi driver's like... Yes. What was the first and they were, thing? Oh, and they were sardines. going fishing, and they were, we need to go to the port for fishing. I think the driver's like, <laughs> he didn't understand anything. Uh, anything. So, so he didn't basically, Spanish, French, whatever. all the eight other teams were there. They were doing it. They were having some challenges, to, but they, you had to line up the fish and present it and get the clue. Right, but you really had to be detailed about lining up fish and right. that stuff. When it gets on your fingers. It smells and stays there for a day or two. Ugh. When you touch fish like that, uh huh. Ugh. It's so disgusting. Oh, and then the big guy that barfed right when he got there. Oh, the big basketball awesome. guy. Was it Cedric or Sean? Cedric. Oh, Cedric. Said he said, mm. uh, Yeah. And we got to see it on TV. That's awesome. <laughs> it was like, never mind. I'm not going to talk so about it. So anyway, team, team, teams, <laughs> teams were leaving there. Yeah. Uh, and, and most of them were gone by the time the Team Extreme got there. Yes. And they just kind of powered through it. They powered. And actually, they weren't the last ones out of that task. No, I think it was the twins, wasn't it? Uh, no, they didn't the fire. Didn't the firemen get out there pretty quick, too? I don't know who got out last, but right. that was an easy challenge. Right. I thought it would be much harder. Oh, uh, that was the Indie Boys, Toad Boy. Oh, gosh. Boy, they were weird this week. Did you find them weird? I find them weird every time. Okay, let's get to the challenge because I want to okay. talk about First them. First up was a roadblock, and it's who's ready to rock the Casbah. Okay, rock the Casbah. And that was the Travelocity oh, yeah. sponsored segment. Oh, yeah. But well, before we got there, we got to see really cute feral kittens. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cats Lots are everywhere. Of Lots of cute feral kittens. I know. Well, there's a fish right there. They love fish, at least in the can. They right. like it. Right. Uh, yeah. So it's it? fresh. Jess was saying, oh my gosh, look at all these cats. Well, yeah, there's fresh fish right there. So. Yeah. Anyway. Meow. 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 So the roadblock, what they Meow. had to do is one team member had to go up to the top of the buildings, take the little Travelocity gnome. Yep. Once they found it. 
once I, they found it. Because it was in this little place. And yeah, you had to say like a nice little Arabic yeah. thing to a guy. Right, and then they took that uh, Travelocity, went to the very first place, and that zip line across rooftops, and you had to figure out which rooftop to go to, go get it, and go to the next place, yeah. zip line across the city, go get it, and then they had to uh, take it to a phone booth. Yes. So, um, pretty much everyone did a pretty good job. The amazing thing, it, it bunched everyone up except for the football, I mean the basketball player. Oh yeah, well he, he was trying to be a ninja. Yes. He was, and, and he, that really got him in trouble. He lapped most of the teams on that first one. Yes he did. And He was amazing. Yeah, and then he was going to the second one and he did good on that one, but he got lost on looking for the phone booth. Yeah, trying to be a ninja. And during all this time, most of the teams were clumped up together, except for the team stream girl. Yep. And she kind of charged up. Who was with her? Who was with her? Yeah. Um, some, there was two of them that kind of got together. Well, I know that Jessica was with that group. Oh, and Henry. so was Well Strong. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was the Well Strong guy. Yeah. Yeah. And, and they kind of clumped up together and passed everyone. Yeah, they worked together, which and, was smart. And then they got to the phone booth part, mm -hmm. and they, there was a slight pause of figuring out where the coins were. The coins were on the little oh, pouch yeah. of you the little bit of travel oh, I wouldn't have looked there right away. Like, okay. where's my, they were going into stores. So, you got some money for me? You got <laughs> some money for me? That was funny. What coins? <laughs> so they got the phone call, told them what to, what to say to the shopkeeper, and the shopkeeper gave them the cl next clue they went to the roadblock. Right. But the drama happened there at the phone place because... Right. Because... Jenny... Jen. Like Jen and Jess. Jen and Jess. They kind of teamed up for last... They were in the last two teams in this whole race. Right. And uh, Jen figured out phone call, and Jessica goes, here, let me hold your gnome so you can dial. Yeah. And she picked it up and put it on the ground. Right. She saw her put it on the ground, I think. I, I don't what know do if she think? saw him. I don't know. I, I think she just got so excited that she found someone that speaks Spanish <laughs> that she went cuckoo. And so then she hung up the phone, said the thing, got the clue, and it took off and left the gnome. And well, with the two Spanish ladies. Yeah, and Jess was, she like, was like, uh, yeah, I'm not going to remind her that she forgot her gnome. <laughs> Which, well, it's a game. Well, and Jess was in like second to last place yeah. or so. Yeah, they were they were vying for elimination. So she's like, she even said it. So Jessica's not a horrible, horrible person. I mean, I think- It was strategy, not meanness. No, and Cody makes her horrible. <laughs> but according, but watching them, they are very much in love. Yeah. It's very fun to watch, I guess. And then Jenny realized right before she got to where she was going that, mm -hmm. oh crap, I don't have the, and she's like, oh, just has my, just has my gnome, she has, and she's running back, and they cut it to make it look like Jessica. Jess was running away while Jim was running. I know that was, and it was completely different. It always. was so not that. So they, I, paid. I guess they were trying to cut it to make Jessica look like a horrible person because, for, for a change. But yeah, there was no payoff. No, there was none whatsoever because there was no confrontation at the end or like. She just yelled, Jessica, you have my gnome. I, and it was obvious Jessica wasn't anywhere near where she was yelling. No. She, was she had already taken it off. Yeah. So Anyways. anyway, that got all settled. It took them all to the roadblock. The roadblock was... Uh, uh, drop it off or, or belly dance. Or shake, shake it, it off. off. Yeah. So I one, like the shake it off. You always go with the dance. You, you always, 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 always. Have always. to. It's, it's the mental challenge or the physical challenge, right? Right. And the physical challenge, they've been running through Marrakesh. Like on rooftops, up and down. Marrakesh, Morocco. Morocco. And uh, up and down. Tangiers. And uh, now they had to take these food, drag them uphill to three oh different God. locations, like, get the information, oh, go back to get the final and, clue, oh. and then go to the pit stop. Yeah, no. So what it was, the, the shake it off was showing up at a belly dance thing. They didn't have to learn how to dance. No, they didn't have to learn how to dance. They just had to look for words. They had to find the words that gave them the location of the next pit stop. Yeah, the, fi yeah, the pit stop. Yeah. So, so Team Yell got it first. Yes, they're very smart. They are very smart. Well, and plus she does know the Arabic, so she's like talking to the people. And right. Like she knows how to pronounce the words. It's She's very smart. Evan, her name is. Right, and then uh, the indie boys were yeah. next out. Yeah, uh, what do I have to say about them? Oh my gosh. Well, Toad Boy actually contributed this time because he was the one following the zip lines yes. during the roadblock, so he didn't have to think. And 
<laughs> You're mean. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then I think it, uh, Alexis is the one that figured out the clues in, in the uh, dance part. Yes. And here's the part where they needed to brag about themselves, especially not Toad Boy, the other one. He's built for endurance, he said. Or one of them said they're built so they both for did. endurance. Yeah. Yes, we're built for endurance. But at the end when they came across, we're going to tell you, they came across the finish line. They came in second. Mm -hmm. And he came across and he's like, something like, we're physically great, well, but we're also mentally brilliant or no, something. No, I can't remember the words. Well, let's say the idea of what you said is correct. But, okay. Um, uh, but Team Yell said, um, for, oh, no, no, it was... Uh, Phil, he goes, you know, for a smart team, uh, for a smart team, they're pretty physical, don't you think? Yeah. For, and then Alexis says, well, for a physical team, we're pretty smart, right? Yeah. So like, it was, it was little, like, he was needing it. Yeah. It was like needy. needy. That was too needy for me. Um, for a physical team, I'm pretty smart. Uh, at the uh, dance, the ones that struggled the most were the uh, professional eaters. Yes. They're <sighs> weird. I'm not loving them. Uh, What's their name? Team, team, I don't know, I don't remember. Oh, Joey and Tim. It's the bad tooth guy that's the, the one you're not liking. Oh, the, the other guy's pretty good. Well, the, the other younger guy's okay. The older guy, the, I'm in out of shape. The old guy is, yeah, well, he needs more energy. He he's a liability. More, he really like, is. No, he, he even says he needs more energy. He yeah. even says he can't, like, do the physical stuff. Will you take my backpack, please? And <laughs> right. <run>. Like, <laughs> really? You're just going up a little hill. You have to take his backpack, too? The young guys actually. Yeah, yeah, that guy's nice, but uh, they, well, that's not, it's not a team I support. No, but anyway, all or the, the race car. We don't support them. Because uh, of Toad Boy. But um, basically, the teams that did the dance thing, those were oh, the top they five teams. Through. They yeah. danced right by. The, the ones that they did the it off. Uh, drag the stuff, yeah. they were fighting for last place. Oh my gosh. And, and actually, in this episode, the first time I, I kind of got a sense of likability of the firefighter twins. There was one guy that likes just to tell puns, and they were supportive of each other. I felt yes. like they got screen time. You know, I, I think I said in the first episode, before I really got to know, that they might be the Dark Horse team, that, that third oh, team. Did say or, that. that. That might surprise you. Because, you know, Yale and uh, Big Brother and... Um, Yale, Big Brother and... Extreme are the ones I felt like out of the gate were the strong ones, but I think, you know, we'll see. And, and then at the end, it was the twins, and then the... Well Strong. Well, Will Strong, was, was Will Strong like came in fourth. Fifth or fourth. And then Cody came in fifth. Oh, they came in third, Well Strong, I think. No, they came in fourth. Oh, okay. Uh, and then uh, Big Brother came in fifth, yep. followed by the Eaters, then the Twins, and then uh, the Lifeguards. Yes, the Lifeguards. And then you thought, oh gosh, is the basketball oh, players right. going to lose? Because they worked so hard. And, you know, the the, basket, the older Cedric was saying, you know, in the past five years, I've had three heart attacks. And I'm not going to let this be knocked out right now. Wow. So they dragged themselves across the um, final line. And, of course, it was not an elimination. Wow. I was like, I was kind of like taken aback by that. I thought it would so be. early. Yeah, I thought it was a little early. But, you know, it's their nice team. I don't. Just like him. I would, there's no. a couple other ones I'd rather see go Do you think they make a game time call at that? Do you think the producers do? Uh, you know, I go back and forth on that. I think sometimes if there's a team they feel like should keep going, they'll, mm. they'll, they'll put it in. That maybe it floats. Yeah. like and They know it needs to happen within like, this oh, area. Need, like on Big Brother, they brought back Jessica and Cody three times after they were eliminated. So it's like, okay, I know what CBS is up to because... Um, those people get a lot of eyeballs. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, right. So, uh, you know, I, I, I would get the impression they're able to call an audible that they want it to happen within this part of the season and this part of the season, right? And, and let them slide it around a little bit. Because there's been a few seasons where the, the ones that are stronger teams suddenly it's a non elimination, right? Right. And you're like, eh. Well, I'm always surprised, like, by Cody and Jessica, honestly because they were at the airport and Cody actually had manners and was very sweet. Now that could be his military upbringing or it could also be um, on Big Brother, he just hated everybody so much that he was the rudest person in the world. Right. So now I'm seeing manners and it always like, I'm like, whoo, I see manners from this guy. And one of the things I meant to say last week, I think Phil had a cold while they were in uh, Antwerp. 
that he sounded like he was cold. And about halfway through this episode and the voiceover and stuff, yeah. he started sounding normal. Uh, <laughs> but oh. last week I was talking to uh, Serena. It's like, it sounds like it's like a cold. Oh, poor uh, Phil. Yeah, because he's a little nasally. And um, my favorite thing happened, of course, when uh, at the end, because there was like what 14. Happened? There were four teams that were there all together. Three or four teams all showed up at the same time. Yeah, what was your favorite thing? Because of what they won. Phil got to say spa and massage. <laughs> massage. Spa. Massage. Spa. Massage. Spa. <laughs> massage. Yeah, I laugh every time and I say it along. Uh, Any those slimy fish. I bet they still smell like it right now. God, that's so much fish on your hands. I know. Well, and, and the, like I said, there's only shot in October, so yes, they probably still. So. Uh. Anyway, uh, who do you think is going to get na- knocked out next week since no one did this week? I know. And it's up to, and now we start the two hour episodes. Oh my gosh, two hours start next week. Yep. Are you ready for that? I am. Whoop, whoop. So that means maybe two eliminations a night? Oh, yeah. I usually have at least two a day. Um, so. Okay. <laughs> Let us know who you think is going to be eliminated, or maybe two of them. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next week. All right, we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. See you then. Hey, hey everyone. everyone. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching the James, James and Greg, Greg show. show. Hope you enjoyed this episode. You know what we need you to do now? Subscribe. 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 Yes. And then share this, like it, and comment on each video. Yeah, you'll see lots of special guests. Yeah, and watch our episodes. We do recaps of your favorite shows. We have little adventures. And we have special guests. And sometimes they're funny. <laughs> Subscribe. <laughs>